All right, for demonstration purposes, the keyword phrase I am trying to rank for is going to be Search Engine Optimization Techniques PDF. And as you can see right here, my Gmail username is seoptimizationtechniquespdf at gmail.com. Now from here to get a YouTube account, all you need to do is click these funny little squares and click on YouTube. And simply sign in. Enter in your password. Click away. Here we are on a brand new YouTube account. Once you're logged into your YouTube account, click right here, just left click, and go to settings. Now the first thing you want to do is click right here. Do not allow advertisements to be displayed alongside of my videos. Save. And what we do from here is create a new channel. Okay, I'll show you here. With just a Google account, you can watch, like, and subscribe. Without a YouTube channel, you won't have any public presence on YouTube. You click here, create a personal channel with your name. If we go back to create a channel, that's what we just did. So what we want to do is from here, we want to click use a business or other name. Name your channel. And of course, I'm going to choose search engine optimization techniques. Select a category, company, institution, or organization. Content is appropriate for any Google user. What we're doing now is creating a Google Plus page to go along with our YouTube channel. Done. All right, it's not going to hurt you to take a tour of your new channel. I'm not going to do that. I actually attended the very first YouTube Creators Academy back a few months ago. What this does is it shows you how to add your images, your channel art, and such. But what's the most important is go right here, go back to YouTube settings, and go to Advanced. Okay, at this point I need to update that video. I need to make a couple of changes. For one thing, this is changed right here. In order to get to your advanced settings, you click on My Channel over here. You click on Video Manager, and all of your channel settings are right here. YouTube has updated everything so that if you want to change your custom URL, you have to go to youtube.com slash account underscore advanced, and then create custom URL. This is where you do that that's up to date for the end of 2014 and 2015. Right now I'm going to take you back to the original video because it is all updated.